Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Mustafa bin Jamal bin Nasir And I'm the first presenter The company background Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad Also known as Astro Is Malaysia leading content and consumers company We serve almost 5.7 million of Malaysian household In many platform including TV, radio, digital and commerce platform As a trusted brand Astro keeps Malaysian well informed and entertained with variety of shows, news and sports content. In 2019, Astro increased their customers viewing experience by launching the Ultra Box to cater the customers need. As the leading movie producer in Malaysia, Astro is committed to raise the standard of local film with the blockbuster such as Police Evo Hantu Kak Limah Balik Rumah, Bobo Boy 2, Engine Ali and many more. Astro's foundation which is Yayasan Astro Kasih and focus long term impactful endeavors guided by its key pillar of lifelong learning, community development, sports and environment. Management approach. The first, co the first component of management approach is a uh, factor to consider having a segment reporting. The first factor is identifying the CODM or Chief of Operating Decision Making. CODM or Chief Operating Decision Making is a person or a group of person that responsible to make decision for the company. The second factor is identifying the business activity. This is because some of activities do not have revenue or have incurred expense or do not incur expense on it. And the third, uh, the third factor is determine whether the discrete financial information is available or not uh, for the business activity. And the last one is determine whether the information uh, reviewed by the CODM or not. The second component of the management approaches is um, type of segment. For the management purpose, a group uh, is organized into the a few business units based on the activities and the services. <clears throat> there are three separated segments based on operating segment. The first one is television segment. The television segment is provide the television services including the content, eh, including the content creation, aggregation and distribution, magazine publication and distribution, and also but, uh, multimedia interactive services. The second, the second segment is um, radio segment. Radio segment is provide the radio broadcasting services. And the last one is home shopping business. For the segment other than three segment, will be classified as the other segment. The corporate function related to treasury and management services, and it is not a uh, an operating segment. The corporate function is presented as a part of reconciliation to the consolidation total. Uh, and the corporate function's asset and liability uh, mainly comprise the deposit, uh, cash and bank balance, other investment and also borrowings. The transaction between segments are carried out the mutually agreed basis. Uh, the effect of such uh, intersegment transaction are eliminated on consolidation. The measurement basis and classification are consistent with those adopted in the previous financial year. The performance are measured based on segment profit, which is uh, we use the, the profit before tax. The internal management report reviewed by the CODM or Chief of the, uh, Operating Decision Making. Um, segment profit is used uh, to measure the performance because management believe that the, uh, the information is the most relevant on evaluating the result. Income taxes are managed on a group basis and not allocated on operating segment. The group uh, business <coughs> the group business units, are primary operated in Malaysia. And the last one is transfer price between operating segment uh, are on the mutually agreed basis. 
in a manner similar to transaction with third party. The third component of the management approaches is CODM. As we know, CODM is uh, the person or the group of person that um, responsible or have the right to make decision for the company. Okay, um, for CODM, we have two, director and alternate director. For director, we have Tun Datuk Seri Zaki Ben uh, Tun Abdu, uh, Ben Tu Azmi. Uh, the, the second one is Renzo Christopher Vegas, uh, Datuk Won Chia, Lim, Lim Gi Kiong, uh, the next one is Simon Karskar. Also, we have Tunku Ali Zakri Ben Raja Muhammad Alias, the next one is Mazita Binti Mukti, and the last one is we have Ni Rizal Kamil Ben Ni Ibrahim Kamil. That's all name is for the writer. And also, we have the alternate director. Alternate director is um, Nur Hisham Bin Hussein. And the last one is Vernon. Okay, next, for COD and function and responsibility. The first function is making policies. CODM have to make the policies to the uh, for the company. Uh, the second function is providing accountability. They also have to provide the accountability for the company. And the third one is uh, risk, uh, risk management and internet control. They have to control the every single thing in the company in the company, and also manage the risk carefully. And the last function is strategy formulating. As a director or as the alternate director for the company, they have to set the strategy of the company carefully. So, uh, reportable segment is an operating segment if they exceeded one of the quantitative threshold tests. Uh, one of the quantitative threshold tests are revenue basis, profit basis and asset basis. And for the Astro company, they use the revenue basis. So next is 10% quantitative threshold test. It is supposedly calculated by adding internal and external studies and if they exceeded the 10% of them, the external and internal, they can be the reportable segments. So, the 75% constraint test were as prescribed by MFRS 8, the total external revenue for the reportable segment must exceed or constitute of 75%. If they didn't meet the 75% constraint test, they must add another additional segment where it doesn't need require to be reportable segment by the 10% quantitative threshold test. So for the Astro company, we can see that television, radio, home shopping and other already require the 10% quantitative threshold test where corporate function doesn't qualify the 10% quantitative threshold test with 5.32% of the total external and internal revenue. So for the 75% constraint test, we can see that television, radio, home shopping and other qualify for the 75% constraint test with the 6 96.02% of its external revenue and it doesn't need the corporate function to be added as the additional segments to be reported for the constraint test. The advantages and the disadvantages when using uh, segmental reporting. What we can get is that uh, the advantages is transparency and better insight where we can uh, better evaluate the sustainability and the growth of our company and we also can monitor uh, the performance of the management. This uh, segmental data, segmental reporting also can allow our investor to be better assess uh, the future prospect of our company. Then, also can assist our users to be better understand our company past performance.
Uh, number two that we can get is that the advantages is better predictor of profitability. Uh, when we make a prediction based on segment data, it's proof that by using this uh, segment, uh, the result that we can get is tended to be more accurate than we using prediction based on consolidated data. Not to forget that we also can enable uh, users of financial statement to be better able to predict the future profitability of an organization of our company uh, particularly where segment uh, are involved in uh, diverse activities uh, number three that we can get uh, is advantages uh, we can lower our cost of capital uh, where the risk of investment in equity of a company that discloses complete information is tended to be much lower than uh, investment of uh, investment in equity of a company that withholds the information. Uh, also, MFRS uh, MFRS eight is users management approach, uh, where this approach can provide uh, us uh, more uh, useful information. Uh, we also can. Uh, use uh, the this approach to see an entity with the eyes of management, the eyes of management, and we also can enhance the consistency with management discussion. Okay, uh, the disadvantages of uh, segment reporting is emphasis on the present, where segment reporting can place too much of a focus on a short term numbers. The second is data manipulation, where segment reporting lends itself to data manipulation if the information is reported in the true management eye style. Uh, number three is that misleading the information uh, the inf uh, segment information, uh, operating data by segment are developed are usually for internal users and they are known to the data. But for external users such as investor, uh, they may have a difficulty in understanding the uh, info in segmental reporting. Uh, the segment uh, information might be misleading to the investors and other other external users uh, when they read it. Normally, operating data is uh, for internet users and commonly known among them, but not for external users. Uh, but for external users, they may have uh, difficulty in understanding uh, the info when they make an uh, investment decision. When the information of segment is lacking somewhere, the investor may unknowingly uh, maintain their commitment. They cannot maintain their commitment in making this uh, investment decision because they fail to understand uh, the info and they cannot evaluate the information in his own perspective. So the next one is the basis preparation for the interim reporting. There are two bases that exist in this world which is the integral method and discrete method. For the integral method, we can consider as the fraction for the annual report. While for the discrete method, we can see that the method practically separate separated period from the annual report and usually the interim report is separated on a predict basis. For the Astro company, the company use the discrete method as we can see, the company preparing another separated periodic report for the interim report. In preparing the financial statement in align with the MFRS, it requires the use of certain critical accounting estimates and assumptions that affect the reported amount of assets and liabilities, disclosure of the contingent assets and liabilities at the date of the financial statement, and the reported amount of the revenues and expenses during the reported year. It also requires the director to exercise their judgment in the process of applying the group's and company's accounting policies. Although these estimates and judgment are based on director's best knowledge of the current events and situation, the actual result may be differed with the estimation. There are areas involving a higher degree of judgment of all complexity, 
all areas where assumptions and estimates are significant to the financial statement are disclosed in Note 4 to the financial statement. The group of com and company have applied the following amendment for the first time for the financial year beginning on the 1st February 2019. There are four MFRS. The first one is amendment to MFRS 9, prepayment features with negative compensation. Secondly, MFR amendment to MFRS 128, long-term interest in associates and joint ventures. Thirdly, amendment to MFRS 119, plan amendment, curtailment or settlement. And lastly, MFRS 16, leases. For the type of interim, um, the company used the quarterly basis. This because uh, the company prepared the condensed separate uh, statement of profit or loss and condensed statement of other comprehensive income. And also, company prepared the condensed statement of cash flow, uh, condensed statement of change in equity, and the last one is selected uh, explanatory. Planetary notes. As for uh, as period for current and cooperative statement uh, by Astro, because Astro using 31st January 2020 as their year ended, so uh, the fourth quarter tended to be November, December, and January. Uh, for the current period uh, for all statements, cons uh, such as condensed consolidated income statement, uh, statement of comprehensive income, balance sheet, and statement changes in equity, uh, cash flow using uh, the period of 31st January 2020. While for the comparative uh, statement, comparative period is uh, using 31st January 2019 for all statement. These are two adjustments made by Astro during the accounting period. Firstly, as at 31st January 2020, the cost of inventory is amounted to 13 million and 100,000. Meanwhile, the net realizable value of the inventory is amounted to 12 million and 800,000. Secondly, as at 31st October 2019, the amount of account receivable is amounted to 669 million. The company estimated to be able to collect 90% of the account receivable at the end of the accounting year. But the company re-estimated the collectible amount which is rising to 95% at the end of the accounting period. This is an extract from financial position for the first adjustment. The company will choose whichever is lower between the cost of inventory and the net eligible value of the inventory as the amount of the inventory in the financial position. So, the company will choose the net eligible value of the inventory amounted to 12 million and 800,000 as the amount of the inventory in the financial position. This is an extract from financial position for account receivable. The company will get the net amount of account receivable after the gross amount of account receivable multiplied with the collectible rate which is 95% and the company will get the net amount of account receivable amounted to 635,550,000 for the account receivable at the financial position.